Wait, we're tracking Hurricane Hillary, which is now strengthened to a Category 4. Storm making its way towards Southern California, threatening to bring strong winds, heavy rains. According to the National Weather Service, the hurricane is expected to cause significant impact if it makes landfall in California as a tropical storm. It'll be the first one in 84 years. But what does the National Weather Service know when we've wow. got Carrie? <laughs> I mean, that's really unbelievable that a lot of us in our lifetime have never seen a landfalling hurricane mm -hmm. in California, and this may be the first one. We're seeing also very warm water due to El Nino, and so it's a little bit warmer than it usually is, but it won't be strong enough or warm enough to sustain hurricane force winds as it moves into Southern California. But it is right on track with those forecasts, strengthening to a Category 4 hurricane as it moves to the west north west at 13 miles per hour. We are expecting some weakening over the next couple of days. It will be about a category two as it moves to the north of the coast of Cabo and then it continues up Baja California into the San Diego area, making landfall at about Sunday afternoon with 60 mile per hour winds. Right now, the current track has kind of narrowed and takes it farther off to the east of the Bay Area, which will also take a lot of the rain away from the Bay Area, but really having a high impact across Southern California where we are expecting a lot of flooding and the potential of high amounts of rainfall. This will be spreading over toward Nevada and notice once again we're on the dry end of this tropical system as it continues to stretch northward but only slight rain chances for the Bay Area early next week. So we'll continue to follow that as things could change. We'll have more on that coming up in just a few minutes. Now Mike we're hoping